Hi everyone, it's Gina at Eyelash Pro Company and I wanted to do a quick video here for you to show you um, somewhat of an easy way and it's easy for me because I've been doing it for a while <clears throat> but this is just a little tip um, I had a client, uh, one of our clients who buy our products, uh, Lash Tech she had asked about she loves the idea of the fast fanning easy fanning lashes and she buys a lot of our products and uses them but she said she's really kind of struggling making consistent fans so i wanted to just show you that right quick um you always want to go through no matter what brand you're using and give your lashes a nice good brush okay because these are handmade in factories and they're shipped and you know sometimes even though they're wrapped up once you open them you can get debris and whatnot dust so it's always a good idea to do that so I want to show you this is kind of more so what I tend to do I grab a, a, a fairly good big chunk and I put it down I place it down on my strip and I have a little bit of the the base of the fan hanging off just like that and I simply just press down and I spread these out a little and then I come back in and I grab a section because obviously that's too many to, for one extension one fan <clears throat> and I come in and I just lightly touch and I can manipulate and work my fan the way I need it to be so there's a fan and I go put that on and then I come back and I already have another fan made over here so that makes it a little faster and I try to gauge and gear and look at you know the chunk that I pull off um, and when I separate them I try to do as close as I can to half okay so I think that will uh, if you can try to kind of work on that technique a little bit that might help you have more consistent looking fans see a little fuzzy there so there's my two fans that I made okay try to pick these up and show you on the other side kind of difficult to do at this position okay let's try with the 10 millimeter I'm gonna come in I'm gonna get a nice chunk set it down touch spread it out a little bit I'm going to come in, grab half, put my fan on. I'm going to come back in here, get my other fan that's already made, and I'm going to put that on my client as well. So I have fairly two consistent fans that are the same in terms of, it's probably about a 6.7D. And these are 0.05s, by the way. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, and get grabbing a big chunk you can simply come in and try to be as close eyeball it as close as you can um, pull a section off set it down touch lightly right here at, at the base just press down a little bit you can you can sort of do the little um, slide motion if you want or scraping and there's your fan okay and again this is just kind of like anything it does take practice they are magical lashes I swear but uh, you know just like with anything it does take a little time to to work with them and kind of get in your groove and figure out what works best for you in terms of your pickup how you separate them how you place them on your client there's another fan that was pretty consistent with the last one. You see that? So I just wanted to share that little bit of info with you since I did have a request from one of our product clients. You can try these different ways. You can have them uh, pull a little bit out and kind of leave a little bit hanging on and spread them that way. That's what I used to teach in my other classes that I taught. That's one technique. Um, you can pull them off all together, set it down, press, make your fan that way. There's a pretty little fan. Um, you 
can take that off, set it down, press all the way to the left, and then you can take your tweezers at the base and try and then do the little um, raking motion across the base. You can do that. It's just kind of whatever your preference is. And again, it takes practice. Keep at it. But I think these two right here are pretty good examples of a consistent fan in terms of how they look. Um, how many fans are in each lash. And there's that one. So, you know, again, you can come in. You can grab a big chunk, set it down touch lightly here. You can cross over, kind of scrape across to separate it. There's one fan. You simply touch, manipulate it how you want. Go put that on your client. There's one. And you come back in, half it again, set it down. You can manipulate it, work with it, get it the way you want it. And then there's that one. So there's three, that three three fans that I got out of that one chunk that I pulled off. So I hope that helps everybody and I'll see you on the next video.